Bob's Red Mill is a brand of whole grain foods marketed by employee-owned American company Bob's Red Mill Natural Foods of Milwaukee, Oregon. The company was established in 1978 by Bob and Charlie Moore. Bob's Red Mill Natural Foods is a producer of natural, certified organic, and gluten free milled grain products, billing itself as the nation's leading miller of diverse whole grain foods. Its products are distributed throughout the United States, Canada, and a number of other locations such as the Caribbean. It produces over 400 products, primarily whole grains that are ground with quartz millstones which come from several 120-year-old mills, as well as baking mixes, beans, seeds, nuts, dried fruits, spices, and herbs. They are sold through 70 natural food and specialty grocery distributors in the United States and Canada, their online store, and the company's factory store and restaurant. History Moore's beginnings as a business owner was in gas, not grains. In the 1950s, he briefly owned a filling station in Los Angeles. The smog in the city influenced Bob and his wife Charlie to sell the station, and moved to Mammoth Lakes, a small resort town in the mountains just to the north of Los Angeles where he opened a second gas station. It failed after a year and the family was forced to move temporarily into an rental owned by their minister. Moore got a job working as a manager at a Firestone Tires store and got back on his feet. He bought a five-acre goat farm where he and Charlie raised their boys. He and his son sold milk and eggs locally. Charlie began experimenting with baking whole grain breads. Moore's drive for healthier foods started with his father's death of a heart attack at age 49, and his grandmother's healthy eating obsession. He began experimenting with stone ground flours in the mid 1960s after reading John Goffey's Mill, a book about an archaeologist who rebuilt a flour mill and went into business with no prior experience. Stone grinding, largely abandoned when the flour industry moved to steel rollers, used quartz millstones that operate at lower temperatures and blend the germ, its oil, the bran, and the endosperm, preserving the nutrition in the grains. He found his first traditional stone grinding flour millstones from a company in North Carolina while he was working, at the time, for J.C. Penny. The equipment sat for a few years until Moore, his wife, and two of his three sons started their first mill business, Moore's Flour Mill in Redding, California. Bob and his wife retired from the Redding Mill and left one of his sons to run it. That mill still produces some products under contract with Moore's current company. The Moores moved to Portland, where Bob attended a seminary to study the Bible for about six months. Bob found a commercial flour mill in Oregon City that was for sale, painted it red, and went back into the flour's business. Moore bought millstones from the closed Boyd Mill near Defer, Oregon. He acquired other stones from old mills in Indiana and Tennessee. The business that is now Bob's Red Mill began producing stone ground flours and cereals for the local area. In 1978, Moore sold direct through his store until he made a deal with the Fred Meyer grocery stores to carry his products in 1988. Annual sales to area health food stores and smaller grocers were approaching $3 million when the original mill was destroyed by an arsonist's fire. The stones were spared from the fire. Grain from the second floor fell on them in the fire which extinguished the flames around the mills themselves, keeping the quartz stones from shattering in the heat, and preserving the gears that turned them. The company built a new mill in Milwaukee, Oregon after Moore was flown around the state by friends unsuccessful in finding an existing mill that would do. The couple borrowed $2.5 million to rebuild the factory and warehouse in a new 60,000 sq feet, facility. Bob continued to grow the business by working with small markets, local retail and larger wholesale customers, rather than a corporate approach. The Moors were early to the whole grains movement, when other suppliers were making more money making faster, cheaper product. They also were one of the first gluten-free mills in 1991, and one of the first to offer specialty grains and cereals in retail-sized packaging. They were the one of the first flour mills to build labs that tested their products to certify organic and gluten-free compliance. In 1996, the Moors took on partners to expand and pay off their debt. Dennis Gilliam, who came from the printing business, became their vice president of sales and marketing. John Wagner became vice president of administration. 
Gilliam expanded the company wholesaling with California-based quality brokerage and Nature's Best, the company's first large regional distributors. Wagner helped the company control debt by building and repairing machinery in-house, and buying of used machinery for needed expansion from older and closed mills like Seattle-based Fisher Mills, Inc. In 2005, it was estimated that Bob's Red Mill's annual revenue was between $30 million and $50 million. In June 2007, the company announced that it was moving both its administrative headquarters and manufacturing and warehousing facility to a 325,000 square foot (30,200 square meters) building from its original 130,000 square foot (12,000 square meters) facility, which it plans to sell and sublease. Its current manufacturing facility is 82,000 square feet square meters. The new facility will triple the company's manufacturing capacity. As of 2005, its products were available in Japan and the company intends to expand distribution to other countries. In February 2010, owner Bob Moore transferred ownership of the company to his employees using an employee stock ownership plan. Philanthropy In 2011, the Moores donated $5 million to Oregon State University to develop a center to study whole grains and over $1 million to a local naturopathic college, both for the study of childhood obesity. <laughs> 